didn't. Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Thompson here, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the final season. We are continuing. This is our fifth episode on this now. And we are going to visit the girls, so you think now, with the fish and all that, see how they're getting on. Where's Vi and Brody? They should be here by now. Oh, they're not here. Clem, look. Monster. Vi wouldn't have just left this out in the open. Wait, isn't that one of our spears? Clem, lock's busted. We might not be alone. Uh, let's kick Stand it. Stand back. <laughs> Holy shit! This place is wrecked. All our supplies are gone. I'll take a look oh. around outside. Hold tight. Are we in danger? Maybe. Cigarette. Hand rolled. Is this a Bible page? Clementine? Oh, they are. What the hell happened in here? Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. No sign of our thief. Thief? Oh, shit. We just walked a mile of river and the traps were all empty. No fish. None. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck. That's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck. It's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> You're gonna be fine. <sighs> fuck. F fuck. Come on, Jeez, come on. Calm down. <sighs> Take a second. Breathe in deep and hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? Jesus. I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlon kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. Um. Oh yeah, that was the train, station. The train station. It's not too far from here. Uh, I don't They're know. That's pretty far outside our perimeter. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. All right, fine. Lead the way. Unless it's been raided. happy we're coming back here because I wanted to you know come back here and see what's going on because we've only been here once and I want to know what happened if anything's changed oh it's overrun there that's where the food is a lot more walkers than last time though we're gonna die it's either die here or die from hunger Take your pick. Take Clem, your pick. maybe you should scope things out. You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. Could ring the bell. That bell might be able to get the walker's attention. They do like to follow sound. Let's ring the bell then. Can we ring the bell? No. We barely got out of here. It was close. It sounds scary. There's a reason. We could climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. 
You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it... Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. Ooh. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. <laughs> I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Give him a second. We oh. may not have a second. get sniped or something. Oh yeah, because remember we didn't kill them, we left them alive. Well, no, I guess they're not really alive, but you know what I mean. Yes, these will be perfect. Plinth, look. Try it out, see if it works. your help on this one, kiddo. So everything's destroyed. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case. Job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. God, I think it's all right. Try anything. I won't hurt you. I don't have to. 
Who are you? The name's Abel, and I'm hungry as hell. You and your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. He sounds like Kava. You live close by? You knew about this place already, and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. I've seen those cigarettes before. You messed up our traps, didn't you? Guilty as charged. But it was an honest mistake. I can be a real butterfinger sometimes. God, I be ain't my enemy of this. You look a little young to be out on your own. You got a group. Count you plus the two outside, I'm thinking maybe more. We're a big group. Strong people, well armed. Uh huh. Right. Right. And this big, strong group sends the kids out to do the risky work. Interesting. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. <clears throat> well, hey there, squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my Mary. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, lower the gun. Clem, he's stealing our food. Alvin Jr., now! Wise woman. Clem, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. I was just leaving. Thanks for dinner. I bet I'll see him again. Who in the fuck was that? Just take a bag and fill it up. I didn't want to attack him because if we did, it would be a lot of fun. You know how these games work. Just What happened in there? Just move! I'll tell you on the way. Listening to me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. They got food. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sim! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. The team effort. Lewis and Violet helped, too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our fish traps. 
Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food, and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here, and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. Wanna try stepping back, Brody? I'd recommend it. I'd recommend you getting your head out of your ass before we're all dead. Slap her. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. Yes. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem, I know I asked you for help. You did, you did, but shit. God, nothing's easy. Um. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. Can't help it. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Are you kidding me? Granny? Dying is the scariest thing there is. When you die, you turn into a monster. Maybe. All I know is that if Minnie were here, she'd tell them to quit the theatrics. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too and Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. I don't think there's anything after we die. Just darkness. There might be. You don't know. Nobody knows. But if there is, I think it'd be like this. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there, too? I promise I'll draw you well. 
You just gotta hold still. Yeah. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's, it's good. yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Stand back. What? Well, what's he gonna do? <laughs> Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. We gotta go hunting. And Lewis let us hit the walker like a pin... a, a pin... Pinata. Yeah. And that was scary, but it was fun. It's nice not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice, too. Before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. I do. I really do. It's good to feel safe somewhere. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. Him getting away with a little food kept things from getting violent. You have to know when to fight, AJ. And this wasn't the time. It's still not right to let someone take from us. It makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. All right, let's put this candle up. Oh, that's cool. So they said about decorating your room and stuff. We we can do that now. So I'm guessing in that case we'll be here a while. I put things. There. You That's got a that good drawing. Dear He's thing a good artist. You can put down Your picture is good too. Oh, I know. And where we can put that? Maybe we didn't keep it because we. Maybe we didn't keep it. So Not used bad. to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. Go to sleep. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. 
Come on, play it right. One time. Bang. <laughs> Good work. And thanks. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video, like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one, because we're going to be continuing this, I don't know how much longer is left, probably not long, but yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.